Step right up, Connecticut friends of all ages. Every year we spin our plates trying to figure out the performers in this year's show. So come inside the tent and see the weather factors we're juggling this year in the Winter Forecast Spectacular. This is the third La Nina winter in a row, which is an oddity. There were only two times in recorded history that this happened, making it tough to find a pattern. But the last two years have been warmer than average with well below average snowfall. That's not a big surprise because most La Nina winters are warmer than average in Connecticut, and we are leaning that way this winter. Now let's look at the sideshow of this year's forecast, the Tonga volcanic eruption that quite literally shook the earth. The underwater eruption occurred earlier in 2022, 500 feet underwater, superheating the seawater and releasing at least 55 million tons of water vapor into the air. Water vapor is a greenhouse gas, acting like a blanket for the Earth. In theory, this could result in a warmer winter, but it's still a big unknown since an eruption like this is so rare. And for our next act, warmer than average sea surface temperatures. This can help keep temperatures above average, especially at night, but it can also play a role in fueling coastal storms. When cold air drives south and bumps into warmer air over the ocean, this collision of air masses can create stronger nor'easters. Hey, watch it. There's another clue. This winter could be mild. Let's take this show on the road to Siberia? where there's a connection between snow and cold in October and the strength of the polar vortex in winter. This October had the least snow since 2009, and this could mean the polar vortex stays strong, bottling up the cold in the Arctic so less of it comes south to us. To look into the future, you must consider the past. What's this I see? Ah yes, a warming climate. Winters are trending warmer, and more recently we've had seven warm ones in a row. When forecasting, the trend is your friend. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you our winter outlook. No surprise, we are forecasting warmer than average temperatures. Whoa, no, not this hot. Above average doesn't mean it won't be cold or snowy. There will be wild swings in temperature, fluctuating from bitter cold to milder, similar to last year, but the mild days should outweigh the cold. Winter may get off to an earlier start as in many La Nina years. December should be cooler than average, but warm spells in January and February should balance the scale. Total precipitation we forecast will be near average, but with warmer than average temperatures, some of that could fall as sleet or freezing rain as we've seen in recent years. Remember that mess last January? I was trying to forget. We are forecasting below average snowfall, similar to recent years, about 80% of seasonal averages. But remember, forecasting how much snow is kind of like playing a rigged carnival game. Even when it seems like a slam dunk, all it takes is one storm, more or less, to miss a moving target. Remember just last year when a blizzard sideswept Connecticut while burying Boston? Let's be real, forecasting winter is like navigating a house of mirrors. Will this forecast verify or is it just an illusion? Be prepared for twists and turns. Ryan? Rachel? And one way or another, we'll find our way out to the other side this April.